Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Retrograde Entropy. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a pretty shit video. Basically, um, you probably know about the whole medication debacle. Uh, it happened just over two weeks ago, so my naturopath told me to stop taking um, my pyro medication, and then I also looked at the blood test results myself, and I decided, wow, my B12 was off the scale, I better stop taking the liquid, because she's going to ask me to, so I stopped taking those for like four or five days, and I started feeling like shit, like really bad. So I went back to her, we had a chat, blah, 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 um, and decided that I'd that it was the fault of the medication, why I had gone so bad so off it. So, um, so I went back, and since then, I've been back onto my normal medication. Now, she has made some recommendations, some new pills that she wanted me to take for my liver, a couple of other new stuff. She also wanted me to take slightly less B12, half of the pyro medication, so on and so forth. I haven't implemented any of those yet, um, because I've been waiting for my health to recover, for my fatigue to recover, um, which, to be honest, it hasn't. It's been uh, nine days since I started taking the pills full again, and it hasn't recovered yet, and fully. Now, it's recovered in some ways. Like, I went out for a walk this morning, um, and I got... I did like two thirds of the distance that I used to be able to do, and it went okay. I didn't feel too tired while I was walking. I could have walked further, but I played it safe. And so as far as walking goes, I used to, when I started my leave, I'd walk like down the driveway and I'd feel fatigued. So that's not happening. But what happens is when I get back home, I feel tired. Um, I feel a bit of fatigue. So I've been having a nap every single day for the last week or so, or feeling like I need to have a nap. Like, I feel like I need to have a nap right now, and it's bloody 8 a.m. All I've done is got up, gone for a walk, and as soon as I got back, I felt like having a nap. So, that's bad. And in in terms of that, in terms of feeling like I need to have a nap, that's probably worse, that's, that's worse than when I started the long service leave. So, the uh, the week of not taking that medication has had catastrophic results on my fatigue. In some ways, in some ways. The walking, the f I think my physical fitness is still okay. I probably lost like a few weeks on that. Um, but then again, I wasn't walking while I had the whole um, red meat chilling problem as well. So they could have, that could have uh, contributed some to that. I think my physical fitness has just gone down because I haven't been walking as much, but the fatigue is not good, not good. And I've definitely noticed noticed in the last week or so a increase in the amount of fatigue that I get from eating. Even stuff which was previously uh, beautiful and wasn't causing me fatigue at all is causing me fatigue now. So my chronic fatigue seems to have gone backwards quite a bit. From the um, from that medication stuff, which is pretty horrible, because the whole point of taking four months off was to improve my chronic fatigue to the point where I could take less medication to keep it um, to keep it maintained. Was what I would like to do is to sort of ease myself off the medication, eventually get to the point where I'd probably still have to take a few things, but maybe not all of them. Um, to the point where my body was just better. That's the aim. And the fact that after two and a half months, or two months, of really good improvement, that just stopping the pills for a week sent me backwards so far, definitely I think in terms of fatigue, uh, probably before I actually started long service leave. Um, so even worse than I was when I started long service leave is where my fatigue has gone. I'm hoping that it recovers better like if it's gone downhill, that it's it's been getting better the last week. It's been getting steadily better. I'm hoping that it gets back to the point where it um, where it was, but I'm not sure. The improvements seem to be petering out a bit, and it may get to the point where I'm just like my chronic fatigue was going like up gradually, 
and then stopped taking the medication. It took a dip, and it's going been going up at a decent pace, but if it starts going up more gradually, then I may... Like the point I was at at the end of November, like three or four weeks ago, or maybe mid-November, was pretty good. After like six weeks of walking and stuff like that, it was pretty good. I might not reach that point until the end of January now. I might not reach that point at the end of January. So that's potentially a problem. Um, and unfortunately, I have little control over the, the medication. I mean, my naturopath tells me to stop taking something. I stopped taking something. I could have perhaps not stopped taking the, the B12 liquid, which was probably a bad idea. Unfortunately, I don't know which one of those caused me to go downhill. I'm putting my money on Pyrol because I have, in the past, skipped the Pyrol for a day or two and felt like shit. So we definitely know that the Pyrol is an extremely important medication. The other ones, I'm not sure. So I'd put my bet on the Pyrol which means I can blame the naturopath a bit, more, a bit more, which makes me feel a little bit better, but still, it's a shit situation. So anyway, um, yeah, so what's going to happen is definitely I'm not going to be, um, I don't think I'm going to be ready for five days of work anymore at the end of January, unless, unless my improvement keeps going up more than gradual unless I get back to the point where I was by like the end of December and then January is just more gradual improvement from the point I was at and then I'd probably be happy but I don't know if that's going to happen so <clears throat> it's either going to be more leave unpaid leave or it's going to be four days a week when I go back to work and honestly the idea of making <clears throat> of getting more unpaid leave taking another month off is not a good idea at this point because honestly i mean shit just happens i mean shit happened in the middle of december with the medication and i gotta do start using a bunch more medication as well so naturopaths told me take this as well take this as well take less of this blah 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 blah, blah. now i can't ignore her and just keep taking the same because I mean, she's the expert and she's probably right. So some of those may, new pills may help me, but then again, they may not. Um, and <clears throat> so, yeah, but I've got to, I'm going to start switching over to them today. Uh, hopefully I get a bit more improvement using the new pills. I'm not going to start cutting down on the Pyrrole or the B12 yet. I'll start taking the new pills, see how they go, see if they offer any improvement, but they may not, they may or um, offer a loss they may make me feel worse it's it's happened in the past so really with the medication I mean the only way that I could have got the four months that I wanted which was gradual improvement over the four months in hindsight was to ignore any changes in medication just to keep the medication solid um, but then again I didn't expect such a massive impact of stopping the, those pills to happen i mean it's literally like months like a, a month two months three months of uh, chronic fatigue process progress seems to have gone out the window so yeah that's just that's not not good really really not good so yeah more long service leave at this point it might work out but it might not so i think the answer is going to be four days a week when I go back to work. Now, I don't have any annual leave or an RDAs when I'm going to cut it, so that will mean less pay, which sucks, but then it allows me to deal with chronic fatigue on a longer-term basis. Um, and, yeah, it'll be harder, obviously, to keep improving the chronic fatigue while I'm at work. Even four days a week, it'll be harder, but hopefully I've made enough or I will have, by the end of January, made enough of an impact um, to sort of go back onto it, to sort of um, be able to be at a point where I can improve on four days a week. And I mean, honestly, I was doing that before I went on long service leave, um, to some degree. And now I know a lot more. I know how important diet is, which I kind of knew before, but I know a lot more now. Um, and the exercise hopefully i'll keep my exercise up to the end of january to the point where i can keep walking for like half an hour 
while I'm back at work and see how that goes. And then sort of stretching the process out. So the point I was hoping to reach at four, the end of four months, I may not reach until the end of 2020 or something like that. It's gonna be stretched out quite a bit, which sucks because I was hoping to deal with Asperger's next year. I was hoping to just wipe chronic fatigue off, but doesn't look like that's gonna happen. And when you think about it, when it's just because of one mistake that I may have made or my naturopath may have made, it's pretty freaking, it pisses me off quite badly. It really does. But um, I mean, I don't know what the medication is doing 100%. I have a pretty good idea, but I don't know 100%. Naturopath doesn't know 100% either. She just looks at numbers on a piece of paper and says, oh, I think this is a good idea. And sometimes she's wrong. Sometimes it's a terrible idea. But, <clears throat> you know, it's not like she screwed up. I mean, well, she did screw up, but she didn't know she was screwing up. So there you go. That's just, it just sucks. Uh, so anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm going to hopefully um, get better over the next few weeks. Hopefully it continues to improve. I don't know if it will. Um, but yeah, whether or not I should do an extra couple of months off and go to the four days. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's honestly not a bad idea just to give me extra growth. But it's going to come down to my medication. If I can get the medication to be stable again, then maybe, maybe it would be a good idea, but I just don't know. Anyway, I'm going to be concentrating really hard on getting stuff done, getting my chronic fatigue back up to scratch. But honestly, it's... It's pretty much just a done deal. Like literally, I'm getting pretty good at looking at my chronic fatigue and figuring out what's going on and figuring out where my status is. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that not only have I lost all the chronic fatigue progress I made in the last two and a half months, but I'm actually worse than when I started my long service leave in terms of chronic fatigue. And that is just, I mean, you don't want to believe it, but as far as I can tell, that's what's happened. So anyway, um, I'm going to finish this video off now and I'm probably not going to do another one unless there's some progress, uh, unless I get back, but maybe I won't. But if I do, then we'll just have to see how we go. At this point, I'm going to pretend that long service leave is starting again. My walking is going pretty well, but I just, I just don't know. It still feels like there's a chemical problem that's sort of holding me back. Uh, even though I've been on the, the pills again for like eight, nine days, it still feels like it's a chemical problem holding me back. It's not just a case of more exercise will get you back into it. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see how we go. Maybe over time it'll get better. Um, hope My hope is right now that I can get back to where I was, maybe a little bit better, and then work on, just work four days a week, and then sort of and just improve over time while I'm back at work. I think that's, I could just go massively better in the next couple of weeks and then still just take four weeks, um, just, yeah, still just take four months off and go back to work at five days. But honestly, I don't think that's going to happen. I'd love it if it did happen, but it feels like my improvement since I started taking the pills again has been slowing down. So, yes. Absolutely terrible news and this video sucks, but whatever, I'm going to get off and uh, yeah, going to go work on stuff. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.